doing? Posting a little uh, red hot poker action on uh, Facebook. I'm going the facial book. A good morning for the good morning red hot pokers by the sea. M25, sorry, it's a 25 to 55 mil M52 to M42 adapter. The M52 being the big thread, the M42 being the classic old Pentex screw mount to an adapter. Tell me about the lens itself. The lens is a 1960s vintage Asilo Raptor by Woolensack, so it's designed, uh, it's designed to shoot oscilloscope cathode ray tubes so it has a curvature built into it to compensate for the curvature of the cathode ray tube so the extremities of the lens bring on a really nice distortion which is quite pleasing to the eye uh, hopefully we'll be able to demonstrate that with some of the examples why did you buy it how much did it cost i bought it because i wanted that look um, i wanted to experience that outrageous bocker in the out of focus areas and what do you use the end result for then? End, end results just for art prints. I, I, you know, I want to specifically capture Australian flora. Um, it, I think it lends itself because it's quite quite gnarly for the most part. And it just that out of focus area just distorts it. It just looks, looks wonder, pretty wonderful. In my book anyway, I, I love it. I think it's fabulous. I mean, they open up to 1.9. They're very, very fast lens, but it's kind of bloomy and soft wide open, even if it's focused correctly. But around between f2, 2.8, f4, it really, it really come, becomes exceedingly sharp. Uh, but you don't want it too sharp because you want that out of focus to go really wild. If you know what I mean. This morning's all about the sunrise coming through the red hot pokers. It makes you know the nice, the highlights off the water, the nice bubbles, you know, some, some interesting light, soft light, not too harsh. I'm a bit hesitant to sort of you know start telling you how fantastic it is until I have a look. <laughs> I mean, through the lens it looked pretty good, but there's, there's a little bit of post-production involved in, in making those, uh, making it pop, ensuring that it's focused. You know, this, there's a, I've got a million pictures, so it's gonna take a while, but we'll get something nice out of it. One or two. Just, the, just when you shoot the whole thing out of focus, it looks, it looks fabulous. It's like a painting, it's awesome. Love it. Art, art in a lens. <laughs> If you like that sort of thing. You may not. You may think it's terrible. In the eye of the beholder. I love it. I think it lends itself beautifully to Australian flora. And that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it.